top of things. It's just the juice hasn't been there. And uh, my heart's connected to you. I feel the love, I see it, but just like anyone, sometimes you're not into it or it's not <laughs> happening. And sometimes it's happening. So, but I really wanna thank you for always writing to me and being very attentive. You're welcome. You've had a lot going on. I realize this, so it's all fine. But okay. I'm gonna ask if you, are you willing to say anything about the vaccine and about us taking the vaccine or avoiding the vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if if you, those of you who've been with me all these years, you know I, I don't get into political uh, stuff. <laughs> I may throw a couple of, every once in a while I may mention something, but uh, it's something I don't really get into. Um, I can only, I, I can't tell anybody what to do because uh, you're all grown ups, and you got you have to do what you have to do and you have to follow your heart and, and see what your heart tells you to do. So I personally, I'm not into getting vaccinated. So as long as I can avoid it, I'm going to avoid it. That's, that's all I have to say. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what the deal is. If I get to a point that I have to do it because I can't go to my bank or I can't get in a plane and travel or I can't have a driver license or Whatever. Uh, a lot of basic functions, I'm not allowed to do it because I'm not vaccinated, then I'll do it. Mm -hmm. But as is, um, I don't feel like doing it. Does it mean I'm not going to get COVID-19? Yeah, maybe I get it. Maybe I already had it. Um, does it mean like if I get it, I, I, maybe I die? Well, I'm going to die one day. I don't know when. So personally, I'm not into it. Yeah, I agree. Good. I'm not either. But so. I, would, I thank you for, for saying that. Yeah, you're welcome. There's a lot of ups and downs on this path. Many times you're going to doubt yourself. There are times that you say, you know what, forget about this. I'm not interested. I'm just going to go in the world. This is all bullshit, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns in it. And you go through a lot of different phases when you're getting closer. Um, you basically have to roll with it. And depending, and just, you know, to many people, you may appear to be very wise, but then you're going to have obstacles or challenges in your level of consciousness that uh, you have to deal with that. Doubt, the mind, the emotions, the world, relationships. You know, you may get to this point that you think you got it down and you figured everything out. And then all of a sudden your world goes upside, upside down. So you just have, you develop patience and allowing back to what we talked about, allowing, you have to allow yourself and not beat yourself up that if you're down, allow yourself that too. Because keep in mind that the observer, the one that is aware, doesn't have ups and downs. The watcher, the part of you that's aware that you're down, 
is completely still. <clears throat> it's the same part that is aware that you're up. So ups and downs are being observed by the part of you which is always still. It's always in stillness. So recognizing that there is this part of you which is unshaken, it's never been born, it will never die, it's always still, it's always silent, it's always love. That part is really who you are. And these other parts, they all come and go. These other states, they're, they're temporary. They appear and they disappear. So you, by recognizing that, then you allow yourself, you allow your temperament, you allow your emotions, your thoughts to have a storm or have a burst or whatever is happening. You're allowing that to happen without beating yourself up. And then what happens? Whatever burst or there's a volcano erupted. I mean, there's a, um, yeah. And then everything's going to go back again. No matter how big of an explosion takes place, everything will go back. Fall back into itself again. Calm always comes back to point zero. So that with the understanding that God consciousness is the only thing there is. Nothing in this life can, has, no, has any power without the will of God. God has to will it. Otherwise, that thing can never exist or never happen. So you find God within yourself and you feel the presence of God here. Then you trust it. You keep trusting it that you're in good hands. You are taken care of. You're always in good hands. You're always taken care of. You just come back to this place. The mind wants to go all over, goes to all these places. You just bring yourself back here every time. You catch yourself, bring yourself back here, here. And you're quiet, you're present, and then presence appears. Love comes back, peace comes back. The juice reveals itself again. You're here. And you feel the presence. So make that your, if you want to practice anything, make that your practice. Remind yourself. Catch yourself. And bring yourself back. And then very soon you start to see the quality of your life changes. I'm not saying that all of a sudden you're going to start making money or uh, your finances changes or some of your worldly challenges are not there anymore. But what I'm saying is the quality of your life changes because you change, you're operating from stillness, from calmness, from being silent. And that has a major effect in your interactions. It's nice to see you all. Very happy that you're all here and we're all together. Um, my pages are, uh, all my social media pages are Zaratustra 5D. My website is Zaratustra.tv and my email is info at Zaratustra.tv. So if you want to write to me, go ahead. Um, I don't have any 
programs. I did mention that I'm going to offer the shamanic uh, healing session. I'm still figuring things out and uh, I'm going to offer it. So I'm not gonna get out of it, just letting you know. Um, I'm around. Um, we're gonna be together and we're gonna do things together. So feel free to write to me if you have any suggestions. I'm open to it. Um, other than that, I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Namaste. Thank you.